was recording this outro and intro when I was listening to my graduation thingy from school. So anyway, my name is Diana Mbovi. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, hi. I just graduated today also. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please do. I want to show you guys how I achieved this look. So please continue watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please do. So for this hair tutorial, I used the Darling River Curl Braid in the color 133 and this is how it looks like and it retails for 500 to 525 shillings depending on where you buy it. I started by separating the hair strands by cutting the tips first, like of the hair, and then applied the TCB leave-in treatment and just went ahead to pull the hair strands to separate them so when you get the hair you'll notice that it has some gel or glue to it to basically just keep the curls intact and of course to make it the like the hair last longer but when you pull of course the curls loosen a bit and you get more volume so now i will say this though in the original state the uh the hair will last for a while but when now we are detangling like for this hairstyle it will not last you that long because the hair is synthetic and it will obviously tangle but you will look nice ah you will look hot like a heater and for this process you need to be really really patient because the hair does tangle as you can see and the one i'm showing was one of the easiest pieces to detangle but again it's not that hard for the crochet process i used this wig cup I, it's, a, it's called a dome cup and of course a crochet needle and basically just started the crocheting process as you can see in the clips this is how i do my crochet there are very many and different ways in which you can crochet if you don't know how to crochet you can start with this one and i really don't know how to explain it theoretically so i've inserted as many clips as possible just to make it easier for you guys to see and understand the idea is to obviously fill the wig cap and ensure that there are no gaps or any patches left and when you get to this part where there's the band just insert the crochet needle to the mesh part of the wig cap because there's a band there and proceed to normally just do your crochet how you would <laughs> So when I got to the front, I started splitting the hair into two and separating it and crocheting it towards the front, of course, uh, because I wanted the bangs to like be on my forehead and just repeated the crochet process until that part was full. And I did this really, really close to each other, of course, because it's the front and you don't want to like have any noticeable patches or spaces on your wig cap so if you haven't understood how to crochet this is an up close aerial clip of how i was doing my crochet and maybe now you'll be able to see closely and understand how to do it so finally this is how the hair turned out at the front and the back it's really voluminous and really long and bouncy so what i did is i just basically cut the front or the bangs part of the hair to get a, like a more desirable length where i could see and one that i liked and as you can see the hair looks really really great like i can't believe it this hair so hot um so now just enjoy clips of me obviously loving the hair i know i did say that the hair will tangle and it will not last you for like that long but i do think of course if you don't wear it every day especially if it's a wig if you don't wear it every day it can go for some time and just store it well for me i'm just hanging it somewhere i'm not putting it in any bag like for storage 
uh, I haven't applied any product on the hair yet to see. So I guess I'll just be spraying it uh, occasionally or once in a while to just get a shine from it. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Up until here, if you have, if you haven't subscribed, please, please do. And also, uh, don't forget to share, leave a comment, and turn on the post notification bell button so that you don't miss any time I post. Take care of yourselves and have a nice time, guys. And see you on my next one. Man, the glow up been too real. Bet y'all liking what y'all see. Yeah, my mama is a soldier and my daddy is a G. When you put them two together, what you think that may be?